Little Catholic here to review a perfect movie for the holiday season. That's right, so with Independence Day here in July, I thought what better movie to look and review than National Treasure. Why not Independence Day? Well, both have some patriotism and some elements that you would only find in America. They both are guilty pleasures to be sure, but my favorite is without a doubt National Treasure. I think its greatest weakness is its premise where our main protagonist, Ben, thinks it's necessary to steal the Declaration of Independence to keep it from getting stolen. You heard that right. He thinks he has to steal the Declaration of Independence to keep it from getting stolen. But there's more to it. He wants to um, make good his family name and particularly his grandfather who he admires. He is a corgi man <laughs> played by Nicolas Cage, so it, it, I think it's a pretty good fit. But what I find interesting is how much of a history nerd he is and how he meets his match in a way in Abigail who works with historical items and is also a history nerd and history buff and how these two clash heads together but eventually kind of work things out in order to go on this adventure for this national treasure. Then there's um, Ben's sidekick Riley who is oftentimes funny but asks a lot of questions. I think it helps with some of the exposition but I think it's too much exposition and and while I admire that it's trying to give us some historical facts it, it feels like the few f historical facts that I would remember from history class and it, it seems like it's not very much that's very new it feels like it's information that I would figure out on my own easily enough but the um, movie as a whole I enjoy just for the fun ride that it is just going on this um, great adventure to find this treasure um, and it's a great treasure hunt adventure just to, to have fun and enjoy. Uh, thinking about it too much probably isn't good, but just to enjoy the fun action scenes and the thrills that come with it. And for me, some of the thrills is having those facts and having um, these riddles that are clues to where to go next to try to find the treasure. And I also like the mythos that surrounds this and the world that it creates and the myth ology that creates. Well, it makes me a little uncomfortable to hear about Freemason masonry. It's it's kind of true. Um, even though Freemasonry is like a real religion, it, there's certain facts about it that that trouble me. But I'm able to lo overlook it for the movie as a whole, and it's, it's some consolation to know that, as a matter of fact, some founding fathers were Freemasons, and that ties in well with the the story as a whole. I know that um. Freemasonry isn't aligned with Catholicism, but the story and the mythos that it creates makes a lot of sense. And Freemasonry has been around for a long time, and Freemasons are called Freemasons because of their history and building things. So it kind of makes sense um, how they incorporate in that, that into the story and how the Freemasons were somehow involved. And Freemasons are, do have secrets, so their, their religion does involve secrets, so it kind of ties in there as well. And to see how they tie that all together, the history, the different locations and sites, and all the action that plays out in prison me. And the characters are funny with their their very their um, individual quirks, and I think it's just a fun ride for me to enjoy. And I hope you enjoy it this summer, a way to, to beat the heat, stay cool and inside and watch a movie, and to be a little patriotic and learn a bit about history while having a fun action adventure. Um, then this is the pick for you. Well, with that said, have a great summer. Peace.